Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be a Euphoria inspired makeup look. I have been currently obsessed with the show and the makeup that the girls use are just stunning. So I figured why not do a look like that. So this is what I came up with today. I hope you guys like this look. And if you want to see how I created this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. To start off this video, I do want to give a huge shout out to iMethod. They had sent me two PR packages and they have been patiently waiting for me to make a video. So today I'm going to be using their Music Flower Eyebrow Pencil in shade Dark Brown. This is what the pencil looks like. In the box it contains two of these, a spoolie and a brush. And this pencil is a double ended, so one end is a very fine tip. And on the other side is a water drop tip. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a water drop just because it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to be doing light strokes in the front of my eyebrow. And then on this side, I'm going to grab fine tip and shape my eyebrow. Once I have the shape that I like, I'm going to be brushing out with that spoolie and then back with the thin and I'm going to be doing some light hairs in the front of my eyebrow. Next to conceal, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Fair. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the top without any product, just with whatever I have on this brush. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using that same concealer. And I'm just going to apply a little bit just because this concealer is very full coverage. And I just want enough to cover that darkness on my eyelids and I'm going to pat this down with a beauty sponge this beauty sponge is from Queen Bee Cosmetics and it's probably the softest one I've ever had super super soft and just very nice on the skin since this look is going to be a very glitter and soft eyeshadow look I'm going to be applying my foundation just so everything is smooth in this case I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation in number 260 I'm going to go ahead and blend this in with that same beauty sponge. And I did not apply any primers or anything because I actually did skincare today. And I used all of my Pixie skin treats. So my skin is very hydrated and ready for the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and go with that same concealer that we used earlier. I'm going to apply some here and here. So this is basically so our face looks now we're going to go ahead and go with the inner part of the concealer. Now that we have concealed our face, I'm going to be using my egg from Dragon Beauty. And I'm going to be using my Dragon Beauty Dragon Heart Transformation Face Powder. I'm going to be applying Pink Opal. And I'm going to grab a very dense brush and just pat it on to where I applied the concealer. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab yellow topaz and apply just a tad bit right under my eyes. And this is so we can have a brighter under eye. While my under eyes are baking, I'm going to be applying my MAC Skin Bronzer in shade Global Glow. And I am going to be using this instead of a contour shade because I do want that bronzed, very shimmer skin tone. I'm going to go up into my temples and then I'm going to stop. Now to contour my forehead, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit from Light to Medium. And the reason why I use this instead of that bronzer is because I don't want to look all highlighted. It's going to make my face look round. So we only highlight the cheek portion. And then the rest of the face is going to be contoured with a matte contour shade. And with what's left over on my brush, I'm just going to apply a little bit on the sides of my nose. Now for blush, I'm going to be using this collection from Pixie Beauty that was sent to me as PR. I'm going to be using the Nuance Quartet in Sugar Blossom, which is this one right here. And for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this palette right here, which is the IFX Rosette Ray. 
For my blush, I'm gonna be applying that very hot pink and that is shade Sugar. And I'm gonna apply a little bit and I'm gonna tap off the excess. And this does have a light shimmer, which is very pretty. For my highlight, I'm gonna be using my latest PR package from Pixie Beauty. This is the Plus Rose Collection and I'm gonna be using the Glowy Powder, which is this one right here. And this is shade Rose Dew. Can we just admire the shimmer on this? Stunning. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my highlight brush. Wow, that is beautiful. To cut my contour, I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty baking powder and banana bread. I'm just gonna apply some on here and just kind of drag it a little bit. To seal everything together, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Magnet Mist by Pop Beauty. This was also sent to me as PR. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some all over. Mmm, this smells so good. It has like a minty smell, love it. To start off my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be applying this very light pink tone, which is the shade Glow. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. For the shimmer, I'm gonna be applying this liquid eyeshadow by Stila in shade Wanderlust. And I'm gonna use a tad bit, and I'm just gonna apply that right in the middle, just so it gives me that shimmer look. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my finger. And this one is supposed to be very liquidy, but mine is drying out. To give this look a pop, I'm going to be adding the shade Ice and the shade French Rose right in the middle of where the glitter is. Like right here. For today's eyeliner, I'm going to be using Ellie Lashes Liquid Eyeliner in black. I'm going to go ahead and start at the end, and I'm just going to wing it upwards. like that and then from not the tip but a little bit lower I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down I also want to thank Ellie Lashes for sending me this liquid liner and the lashes that I will be using today as PR package now that the ends of my eyes are done I'm gonna be using my Queen Bee Cosmetics liquid liner and this also works as adhesive for my lashes so this one I'm gonna be applying on the inner part of my lash line so my lashes can stick I'm also gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes with a little bit of mascara this is also a PR package sent to me by Basanti this is their Kajal Big Up mascara in black and I'm just gonna apply a little bit just so my lashes blend with my false lashes. For today's lashes, I am gonna be using Ellie Lashes. She sent me a PR package with a bunch of eyelashes, liners, glitters, and after trying all of the eyelashes, I do have to say this is one of my favorite ones. This is in style Mariposa Traicionera. Since the eyeliner works as glue, we're just gonna prop this on right on the eyeliner. You guys, this glue eyeliner is actually like sticking really, really good. Like I can definitely go on a roller coaster and my eyelashes would be intact. So that's good. I do have a discount code with her, so I will put it on the screen and down below if you guys want to purchase this amazing creation. I think it's pretty smart if you do eyeliner. It's very convenient. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. Now for the fun part, I am gonna be using these rhinestones. I got this off of Amazon, and you can also get this at any craft store. I'm gonna be adding one rhinestone right in the middle, one in the inner corner of my eye, and one in the outer. And I am using my Duo Glue, it's a lash glue, for my rhinestones. I'm also going to be adding some right under my brow. I'm going to do two, three, and four.
For my lips, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Color Pencil in Forever Walnut. I'm going to be applying some gloss. This was also sent to me as PR package by Pop Beauty. This is the Plump Pout it's in shade Ice. To add a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to be applying the Stila eyeshadow that I used on my eyes. Alright guys, so that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys like my content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the companies that have been sending me so many goodies, so many packages. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And please don't forget to show them love. I will post their information down below and also on the screen. Thank you guys so much for coming by. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!